uh, as other people are joining us as well. We are here to spend time with the Holy Ghost. We are here to spend time with God. Uh, I pray as we're starting, just open your heart. Just open your mind. You're not here to spend time with Pastor Ren. We are here to spend time with the Lord of hosts, the Lord Jesus Christ, and he's able to transform your life. He's able to change your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And then when I was praying, preparing this service, the, Lord, the Holy Spirit told me that he's going to touch so much people today. He's going to deliver people. They seek to be healed. And then also, you who are here, when you, if you have a, a family a member who is sick, just write their name uh, in, a, in a comment down there. Just write their name, and they're going to be touching the name of Jesus. Just open your heart. I don't know uh, which situation you're going through, so you just open your heart unto the Lord. The Lord's going to touch you. As this service is growing, the Lord's going to touch you. Before even we start praying, before even we start uh, bursting into tongues and things like that, the Holy Spirit is already here. He's going to touch you. The Bible says, is in the midst of those who uh, where two or two are gathered in his name is in their midst. So in the name of Jesus, uh, let us pray and open Amen. our service in the name of Jesus. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus. Lord, we worship you, we magnify you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, yes. we thank you because we can come to your presence. Lord, we thank you because we can come and spend time with you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your name be magnified, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, come and take hold of Father. Come and take control of this moment, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, touch each and everyone in this place. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the man who have encounter with you and they remain the same. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. But I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you're going to have an account of each and everyone in this place. In the wonderful name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, come and take over. Come and speak to us. Come and lead us, Father, to where we should be and what we should do, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your will be done over this place. Father, in the name of Jesus, but as I'm lifting my hand in the position of surrender, Lord, come and take over, come and touch your people. Father, in the name of Jesus, let each and every one have an account of you in this place. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, the time is here for you to have time with your people. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. But as I sit up my hand, he can tell a little bit about each and everyone. Let them experience your presence. Let them be part of the way of the Lord. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Libra, 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 Father, in the name of Jesus. Let the name of the Lord be lifted up in this place. The Bible says to give a name, 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 in the name of Jesus, they can tell a dose of Iba, Libra dose Kayaba, those in the mighty name of Jesus, let sickness, let battle after, bow at the mention of your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lama Mosketeva, Lord, the time has come, as you told me, the time has come, for you to have a talent with your people, you have a talent with your people, you have a talent with your people, 
Lord, begin to speak into the heart of your people. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let them see you like never before in your life. When we're praying, the Spirit of God tells me, he said, he said, he told me this, he said, we are in the season where he's about to shift people. Hallelujah. We are in the season Hallelujah. when he's about to shift people into the Haladoshkata, to what he has called them. But provided you set yourself apart. Hallelujah. You set yourself apart. And the Lord going to shift you. Hallelujah. Going to shift you to what he has called you into in the name of Jesus. But at the same time I see in my spirit, and same time I see a lot of people still, you are still distracted. You're still struggling with a lot of things. But the Lord said, position yourself in this season and he's going to use you. Hallelujah. We're starting now our Bible study. Hallelujah. 
uh, open your Bibles and we're going to uh, Latoshka. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let us share first the word of God and we're going to go to prayer and what the Lord is going to be speaking to us. We believe in the word. We believe in sharing the word. We believe in prayer. Let us all open our Bibles. We're going to start. We're going to share uh, some Bible study or share some word. Uh, what the Spirit of God speak uh, is speaking to us in this generation in the name of Jesus. And again, we're going to go to where the Spirit of God is going to lead us. Um, let us open our Bibles. Let us open our Bibles in the book of Exodus. We are in the, in the book of Exodus. Uh, the book of Exodus 19. In the mighty name of Jesus. La Rosh Katayaba. In the mighty name of Jesus. We started reading from Exodus 19. Uh, you can start reading from verse 10. Exodus 19, verse 10. You can read from verse 10 to 15. Amen. We're reading in the name of Jesus. Exodus 19, verse 10 to yes. 15. And it reads, When the Lord said to Moses, yes. Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes, and let them be ready for the third day. For on the third day the Lord will come down yes. upon Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. Yes. Uh, you shall set bounds mm. for the people all yes. around, saying, Take heed to yourself that you do not go up to the mm. mountain or touch its base. Whoever touches the mountain shall surely be put mm. to death. Not a hand shall touch him, but he shall surely be stoned or shot with an arrow. Rather, man or beast, he shall not live. When the trumpet sounds long, they mm. shall come near the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain yes. to the people and sanctified the people and they washed their clothes and he said to the people be ready mm -hmm. for the third day do not come near your wives amen amen you can stop there you can stop there so the Lord gave me this verse to speak to you today we are almost at the end the lord is at the door the lord is coming and you're seeing there's a lot of wars happening there's a lot of crisis happening in the world today. There's a lot of things happening left, right, center. There's a lot of crisis happening. But the Lord gave me this way. He said, in this last moment, hallelujah, before the trumpet sound, the Lord wants you to set yourself to be ready because he's, he's got about hallelujah, to visit each one of us. The Lord, he says, is ready. We see uh, here the story uh, that just our uh, uh, prophet Estalia read for us. It's in the book of Exodus 19. We see uh, God told Moses to prepare his people before those people have an encounter with God, before those people met the Lord at the mountain called Sinai. Hallelujah. As you heard, he said, and the trumpet shall sound and all they're going to come around the mountain. It's an image of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's the image of the last time, the last trumpet, the last time when the Lord is coming. But the Lord spoke to me, he said, in this season, is elevating people to accomplish what he created them to accomplish into their lives in the name of Jesus. For a long time, you've been living under what God has called you. For a long time, you've been living not up to the standard of what God has called you. For a long time, you've been living a, a life of mediocrity. But in this time, God is saying, concentrate yourself. Set yourself apart because he's about to use you for this last, before the last trumpet sound. But the condition for the Lord to use you, you're going to sanctify yourself. You're going to set apart. I know you understand what sanctification means. Sanctification simply means to walk in holiness and to consecrate yourself unto the Lord, to spend time in prayer. But I want to focus on, on, on other aspects of setting yourself apart. Hallelujah. I want to consecrate, I want to consecrate myself and focus on the other aspect of consecrating yourself or setting yourself apart. The Lord in these last days is calling you and me to arise, hallelujah, and to accomplish what he has called us. The Lord told me that time of revival is coming. Even though in the world there will be a lot of chaos, but there's a time of revival which is gonna, it's about to eat upon the, upon the earth right now. But you're going to be ready, halatosh katea. You're going to be ready for that awakening and revival which is coming upon the earth. Otherwise, you're going to miss the end of God. Otherwise, you're going to miss what the Lord is doing. I was in prayer. I saw a lot of 
uh, a lot of chaos, a lot of darkness, a lot of darkness eating the earth. But the Lord said, if you tell my people, if only they could arise and set themselves apart, in that darkness there shall be the light. That's what God has called us. He said, in that darkness, there shall be the light. You shall be the light shining into darkness. God has called us in this time for us to set us up apart for him to use us. Even in the chaos and crisis uh, and economical meltdown, there are those who God going to bless them bountifully to be the kingdom financiers in the name of Jesus. But provided you set yourself apart for what God is doing in these last days. Set yourself apart. You gotta make a decision today to set yourself apart for what God gonna do in your life. Because God, right now, as I'm speaking, right, the Lord is saying He's selecting people. He's selecting people who have made up their mind, have made up their heart. Say, Lord, we're gonna set ourselves apart to be used by Himself in these last days. In the name of Jesus, let us go. We're reading again. Let's go to the book of Romans, twelve, verse two. Romans 12, verse 2. Romans 12, verse 2. La The Lord is at work. Hallelujah. Heaven is even closer. When the darkness, when the darkness is thicker, the glory of God is even greater. But he just wants you to make a decision to set yourself apart to experience what the Lord is about to do right now in the name of Jesus. As I'm speaking right now, I'm seeing some people struggling to stand as a Christian. We've been struggling to stand. As a Christian, I'm seeing you in your, in your closet. I can see you clearly, but I can't mention your name. I can see you standing and in your in your closet, but struggling with a lot of things. But the Lord said, today is about to deliver you, but provided you decide to set yourself apart in the name of Jesus. Yes, Tyler, if you're ready, you can read first. Hello? Yes. Sorry about your, that. Your microphone Romans is well. off. Yeah. Romans 12, verse 2 reads, yes. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, mm -hmm. that you may prove what is that good and yes. acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. He says, don't be conformed to the patterns of this world. What is the pattern of this world? Sickness is the pattern of this world. Being demon-possessed is the pattern of this world. Struggling with sin is a pattern of this world. He said, Don't do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And the Lord is saying, You being set apart and be transformed by the renewing of your, of your mind will not it will not gonna take your own effort or your own strength. It's going to take you surrendering to him, you making a decision that Father, today I have decided to set myself apart. For what you're about to do in these last days. The Bible says the days are evil. Evil is everywhere. Demons are acting and working everywhere. Those demons are being seen in the people because you and me have not set ourselves apart. And stand firm in what God has called us. God, you, God, God wants you to step out of whatever you've been, but set yourself apart for him and he's going to use you and he's going to deliver you. I'm seeing you've been struggling with, uh, uh, you've been sleeping around uh, every time you try, but it has been hard for you to set yourself in order. But the Holy Spirit is saying, as long as today you make that decision, his presence is here. As long as you make that decision, you make that decision from your heart that today, Lord, I'm deciding to step out of my, 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 my lifestyle and be conformed, hallelujah, to the image of Christ, not to be conformed to the image of the world. You shall see the end of God, and he's going to deliver you in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, don't be conformed to the image, to the, to the patterns of the world. What are the patterns of the world? Libra dos The Bible says, um, after, Jesus, after Jesus died, and he went to heaven, the Bible says, we are seated together with Christ, in heavenly places we are seated you and me are seated together in heavenly places with the lord meaning we seated into the glory of god meaning you have to believe in your heart today by faith that if i'm seated with christ if i decided to be formed transformed to the image of christ to be set apart i must remove myself 
from the patterns of the world. I, must, I mustn't be controlled by the economy. I must be controlled by what is happening around me. But I'll set myself apart. The Bible says, you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. As the light of the world, you're setting yourself apart. You are lighting, hallelujah. You're shining into darkness. You're shining into darkness. And wherever you walk, demons flee. Wherever you walk, people are being delivered. So today, if you've been struggling with, uh, you feel like you've been uh, stagnant, you've been not moving forward, you make a decision today. And as the presence of God is here, you're declaring, are you casting every demon out? And you're going to be set free. And God, hallelujah, you're going to be seated together with Christ in the heavenly places by faith, if you believe. In the mighty name of Jesus. Labarosh Katayaba. They all said, no, don't be conformed to the pattern of the world. In the pattern of the world, there's a there's there's a violence, there's a there's a sickness, there's a suffering, there's a sin, there's adultery, there's a pornography, there's all kind of things in the pattern of the world. But God has called us for our mind to be renewed and transformed. I received, you know, you know, before also I was I was struggling with a lot, a lot of things in the world, but I received this revelation. Uh, Jesus said he, he, he appeared to me and he said he said he said this. He said. A lot of people believe that when you come, you, you come to Christ, you become a born again, right? A lot of people believe that, okay, you're born again only into your spirit. It says, okay, now, now your flesh, uh, as, as uh, your flesh, little by little is approaching God, but only your spirit is saved. But Jesus said, when, if you believe in me, I'm able for the same power which redeemed your spirit can be transformed to your soul and your body. And therefore, if you believe that, therefore, there won't be sickness in your body. Therefore, no demon can control your soul. Therefore, you won't be ruled by the pattern of the, of the world in the name of Jesus. Therefore, a lot of people may be crying around you because of the economy, because of the violence, but you, you, will not, you won't be ruled by whatever is happening in the world because Christ has taken over, has taken over your flesh. He has taken over your spirit and your soul. Now you're living in Christ in the name of Jesus. Now, after, after that account, I start now declaring, if I have even a small pain in my body, <laughs> I, I start declaring, say, God, this is your body. I don't believe that Jesus can be sick. I don't believe that Jesus can have pain. And I declare that revelation to my body. I never fallen sick again. My, my, my brother says, I can't even stand the headache. <laughs> I can't even stand the headache, I'm telling you. Why? Because I believe I drops into the revelation of God. I refuse to be ruled by whatever is happening in the world. But I believe in the word of God and I walk into the image of Christ Jesus. I'm not a superman, but I decided to, to, the sin to not rule me. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says sin has been defeated. Sin is under our feet. I have power even over sin. We're refusing to be ruled even by sin. Because we want to be the light of the world. God is looking for such men and women who will stand. When they stand, when the enemy look at them, that he has nothing of the enemy in them. There's nothing of the enemy in them. The Bible says, Jesus said, the enemy is coming, is coming after me, but I have nothing of him in me. That's what Jesus wants of you in these last days. For him to be able to use you. For him to be able to trust you with his wealth. For him to be able to trust you for what he's doing in these last days. You're going to open your heart to the revelation of Christ Jesus. The reason we start this this meeting with, with reading the, the, the Bible because the revelation of Christ has to grow in you. You have to walk in that revelation of Christ in the name of Jesus. Can you open our Bibles again in the book of First Peter? First, First Peter 2 verse 9. First Peter 2 verse 9. I want you to understand one thing. This revelation in the name of Jesus. A transformation comes after you grasp the revelation of the word of God. That way transformation comes when you grasp of revelation of the word of God. Philippians says, I can do I can do everything to Christ who strengthens me. When, when, when you grasp about the revelation, you're walking like, okay, as long as I have Christ Jesus, everything I can face or conquer it because Christ is in me, the hope of glory. Jesus. I wanted to cross that revelation so that when we pray, you're standing now in boldness. 
claiming what God has called you, standing in dominion, standing in your destiny because the, 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 the world is ending and you're going to be judged based on what you did here on earth. I don't want you when you stand one day at the at the throne room, the Lord ask you, what did you do on the on the earth? I said, oh God, I was so busy with work. I had to work. Oh, I was so busy with uh, with the family. I was busy cooking for my husband. <laughs> do you think that God sent you here just to, to, to go and work and come back? There's a purpose and destiny God has called you. Even at your workplace, there's a destiny, there's a light which it has to shun from you and touching other people and delivering other people in the name of Jesus. Yes, if you're there, please, you can read for us. First Peter 2 and what verse? First Peter 2, uh, verse 9. Verse 9. And it reads, but you're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, mm -hmm. his own special people that you may mm -hmm. proclaim the prize, the praise of him who calls you out of mm -hmm. darkness into his marvelous light. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says what? You are a chosen generation. You are a chosen people called by God, set apart by God. Not being ruled and pushed around by the world, but the Bible says we are a chosen generation. Hallelujah. Can anybody, I want you to step into that calling, that revelation of the word of God. You are a chosen generation called by God, set apart by God, conquered the world. The Bible says we have conquered the world already. Everything that you think that you're facing right now, the Bible says you have conquered it already. The Bible says, you great mountain. Who are you before Zerubbabel? Who are you? Every man that they're going to face in life, you've conquered it already through Christ Jesus. You have just to stand by faith and grab that revelation that I've conquered it already. I'm speaking to you who's struggling with sexual sin. The Bible says you've conquered it already. Stand and both you say, I'm not slave anymore to this sexual sin. I'm not slave anymore to pornography. I'm not slave anymore to masturbation because Christ has given me power over it in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, you've been struggling with sickness. There are people in your, in your family who, who are sick, I have pain. Some are even in the hospital. The Bible says Jesus has empowered you. You have power. If you go to the book of Mark, Mark 16, verse 15, the Bible says, the Bible says you, are, you shall lay your hand on the sick and they shall be healed. The Bible didn't say only apostles or only pastors. It says every believer, if you believe in his name, you shall step out and lay your hand and they shall be healed. You shall cast out demons. And they shall go and not never come back again. You just step out in faith and in revelation of the word of God. You know, when, when I stand when I stand and pray for people, one thing I like about it is, is that I don't stand in my name or the name of my family. The name of my family is not known. <laughs> we are nothing. But I stand in the name of Christ. Demons bow by the mention of the name of Jesus. When I walk, I walk in the name of Christ. Paul says, it's no longer I who liveth. It's Christ who lives through me. He said, I was crucified with Christ. Meaning, meaning I, was, I was what? I was, uh, I was initiated with Christ. When he died, I died with him. When Christ was baptized, I was baptized with him. When he went to death, he went with me. And we came out together victorious in the name of Jesus. And in Christ Jesus, when we stand... No demon can stand against us. No sickness can stand against us. Why? Because we understand the revelation of our calling. We understand the revelation of the way God has called us. We understand that Christ is holy. And if I believe in Christ Jesus, I'm going to be also be holy and righteous. I'm going to walk in purity. As long as I grasp that revelation of my Lord and Savior. I grant that revelation that Christ has called me. I can walk in a victory as Christ Jesus. The Lord has called us. To, he said, he said, the Bible says we are together seated in Christ in heavenly places. I will finish with this. Let's go to the book of John. On, on John 17. This is Jesus now. After he walked 
for over three years with his, 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 with his disciples. Now he wants to leave them to go to, to the Father, to go in heaven before he was crucified. This is the prayer. This is a revelation of your know, that grabs this revelation for your entire life and you're going to walk in victory. When the book of John, uh, John 17, you can read from verse uh, 20 to 23. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. John 17, mm. 20 to 23. I do not pray for these alone, mm, yes. also for those who will who will believe in me through their word. That they will yeah. mm, that can they you all can, can you please stop it? You can go you can go please slowly. You can read okay. it, but go slowly a little bit. So it says. He doesn't pray only for those who were around him, his disciples, but he says for those who also going to come, you and me. Jesus was not praying only for his disciples. He said, no, no, only also those who are going to come. So in the mind of Christ, when he was praying those prayers, he saw each one of you. Each one of you were there represented. Each one of you will say, I'm not praying only for these disciples, but those who also, to them, they're going to believe. And you can continue. Verse 21, that they all may be one yes. as, as you, Father, yes. are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory mm. which you Amen. gave me. Amen. Continue. Hmm. Yes, you can continue. And the glory that you gave me, I give them, that they may be one just as we yes. are one. I in them. Amen. You can stop there. Okay. You can stop there. He says, he says one, one thing. Okay, you can bear with me. I, I got to explain. You got to please bear with me. I want you to grasp this re revelation. He says, one, he says, us. We become one in Jesus and Jesus one in God. And he says, the glory that Father you have given me, I've given them us. Can you just begin to imagine the glory that Jesus walked in? The glory that Jesus walked in. He says, the glory that you've given me, I've given them. You see the glory of Jesus. The Bible said demon were fleeing when Jesus was walking. The sick were healed. People were be delivered. People were set free. Miracles happened. He, he was he, he look he walked in the light of God and the power of God. But God said, Jesus said, the glory that you've given me, I've given them because you, Jesus, Him, Jesus, and the Father are one. I ask to become one in Christ Jesus. That what the pattern God has called you and me to walk in these last days. Where there's war in Israel, there's war in Ukraine, there's other pandemic coming, there's other war and, and calamity, people with famine coming, all the things which are coming. God has called you and me to walk at Christ walk. Christ walk as the light. Christ walk in the power and authority, in the chaos, in darkness. Christ walk as the light. And each one of you here are called to be the light in the name of Jesus. I want you now to close your eyes. Let us pray. Close your eyes a little bit. Let us pray. Just close your eyes in the name of Jesus. There's some of you who have been very far away from God. There's some of you who have been focusing on the wrong things. reason you've been struggling in a lot of things in your life. So begin now to recommit your life to Christ Jesus. Say, Father, I want to walk now with you. I want to grow with you. I want to be the light in this fallen world. Say, Father, there's nothing for me anymore out there in the world. There's nothing, there's nothing for me out there. I want to walk with you. I want to commit my life to you. Those people say, when you confess this word with all your heart, you're going to be delivered instantly. You can put your microphone on as we, we begin to pray soon. You can put your microphone on. Yes, as yes. you're believing with me, in the name of Jesus, as you're believing with me, the yes, Spirit yes. of God is going to deliver you in the name of Jesus. As I'm speaking, you know what you've been struggling with. You know the problem which has been uh, uh, taking over your life. You know what your struggle has been. You know how you've been stagnant, not moving forward. 
in different areas of your life. But those experiences you believe in from your heart is going to say to you, let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Ratos Keteledos Katayaba. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we believe in the name of Jesus. Libra dos keteledos keteaba. Libra dos keteaba. Libra dos keteaba. Libra dos keteaba. Libra dos keteaba. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. But I believe, Bala dos keta. As each and every one are praying, Father, I believe that they are being delivered. I believe they are being set free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let the Father of Holy Ghost touch each and every one in this place in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let your spirit begin to touch the sick right now. Begin to touch all of those who have the captives and let them be free today. In the name of Jesus, let your spirit begin to touch the sick right now. Begin to touch all of those who have the captives and let them be free today. In the name of Jesus, let your spirit begin to touch the sick right now. Begin to touch all of those who have the captives and let them be free today. In the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit is saying, Listen to me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, there's, there's two things the Holy Spirit is telling me. Uh, I'm not going to mention your name only because we are also on YouTube Live. I'm not going to mention your name. But you know yourself, as, of, as I'm speaking right now, where you are, lift up your hand and the, the, the power of the Holy Ghost is going to touch you. You've been struggling with masturbation. Just lift up your hand where you are. Hallelujah. You've been struggling with masturbation. You are a lady. Lift up your hand there and the Spirit of God is going to touch you and you're going to be delivered today. I'm seeing another lady. The Holy Spirit says you've been struggling with one thing. You've been struggling in your relationship. Uh, relationship. You've been struggling with a relationship. There's a there's a man who said he's gonna marry you. Haladosh Tayaba. Librosh Ketayaba. There's a man who promised to marry you, but by the time the of marriage came, he changed his mind. And there's an opposition which arises to the left, right, center. You also lift up your hand and touch your stomach, and the spirit of God is gonna touch you in the name of Jesus. And he says, You're gonna set you free in the name of Jesus. I'm Amen. speaking to another man. You are a man here in the name of Jesus. You've been going through a very hardship at work. I see people rising against you at work because you at the brim of losing your job. You also stand up also. Lift up your hand. The Lord is about to set you free today in the mighty name of Jesus. As we pray in Ikatayaba, we pray, let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus and you're going to be delivered. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I'm praying for those who lift their hand, Father, let the Father, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Let the Father, Holy Ghost, come on every 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Thank you, Father. The Spirit of God says He's sending some people into that destiny. Talia, Talia, the Holy Spirit is saying about you, Allah Katayaba. The spirit, of, the spirit of God is saying, there's a, there's a new door of a new season happening upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit said for a long time, you've been trying, you've been trying to get to that door. But he's saying because of this prayer today, I'm seeing you walk into that door of glory. And he says, the world shall speak about your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm seeing an open door. Amen. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you've been praying for a long time, not today. I'm seeing like 10 years ago, you've been praying for a long time to pass certain level, to go to that door. But whenever you try to pass that door, there's something which arises, protects you back again. But the Spirit of God says, because of this prayer, you can't keep going through that door. And the world just speak about you. And the Lord, the Spirit of God is saying, He's setting people into that destiny. I'm seeing chain being broken. He's setting people into a, their destiny tonight in the name of Jesus. Just open your heart. Into your destiny. You've been going, you, you receive an attack of depression. I'm seeing two weeks ago you were you were struggling with depression. I'm seeing two weeks ago, two weeks ago, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the Holy Spirit is saying right now, he say, Halikata is delivering you right now, and don't allow that spirit again to enter into your life into the name of Jesus. In 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 the name of Jesus. Libro Before I introduce before I introduce those who uh, are going to work with today in the mighty name of Jesus, just the Lord, the Lord is setting each one of you into your destiny. There are things that you tried to do long time ago, it did not work. I'm seeing somebody, you even tried a business, you even tried a business. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You even tried a business, but it didn't work. You tried, didn't work. You invested a lot, didn't work. But the Lord is saying, from today on, 
go and do it again you're gonna see the end of god because he's setting people to that destiny provided you set yourself apart the Holy Spirit says, separate yourself unto me. Set yourself apart unto me. And you're going to see what the Lord's going to do over your life. Amen. That decision, stand firm into the word of God. You'll see what God's going to do over your life in the name of Jesus. Those attacks, I'm seeing, I'm seeing somebody, you've been, you've been attacked even in your dream. Even last night, you saw a very horrible dream in the name of Jesus. The, the Holy Spirit is saying, stand firm and rebuke that spirit. God has given you the power in the name of Jesus already, in the name of Jesus. Those who can speak in tongues, begin to speak in tongues. Let's pray. Begin to speak in tongues. As you enter into the destiny that God has made you, let's pray in the name of Jesus. 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 God bless you. Listen to me. Listen to me. I said I did not come to work alone today. I was, I'm so honored. Uh, I'm so honored and privileged today uh, to introduce to you Talia. Who is she? She's a prophetess. Who is she? Can you put your camera on? And Stasha, can you also put your camera on? The Lord is using these two women of God powerfully. 
Uh, I don't know, Talia, uh, micro, uh, uh, camera, I can't see her. Stasha, you can put your camera on. Put your it's camera fine. on. It's fine. Can you hear me, it's guys? On. Yes. Talia, are you there? I can't yes. see you. It's on. Yeah, I can see you. Can you yes. see me? Okay. Guys, yes. Guys, I'm introducing to you these two powerful women of God that by the grace of God, I was honored to mantle them. Uh, we start, I started with them. I started with Talia. How many years now? How many years now? Uh, yeah, microphone is off. I think I started mantling little, her, like, over, I think two to three. over two years. Over? Over two years. years. Over two years, yes. I started mantling her two years ago. Along the years and along the years, I've seen the power of God falling upon her life. Now God is using her powerfully. And I'm going to choose also Stasha. And I also, to the grace of God, I've had the privilege to mentor her as well as she's admitted to this ministry. And God's going to use them powerfully. They walk in the prophetic, they walk in the power of God. So I'm going to give the time to Talia. And then once Talia finishes, we're going to give to Stasha. Talia, you can take over. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, I thank God for this time. I thank God for all that he is doing. And God gave me a word earlier today. And then even as we were in prayer, um, the first thing I want to, I want to mention is the word that God gave me for what he is, what he is about to do. And it falls in line with what Pastor uh, Randy was speaking on, that God is going to show himself in abundance and in intensity in the year to come. That the Lord, you're going to see the Lord's hand working mightily in your life, but you must be willing to submit. You must be willing to obey. Yes. And it's not only you who yes. who's going to see his hand, but everyone around you is going to know that God is with you. And the Lord is asking yes. that we will walk on our faith to do so. And he gave me mm. a vision earlier. Mm. But in this vision, basically mm. what the Lord is saying, do not get mm. tired in your well-doing. That regardless of how long yes. he's showed me visions of eagles and no matter how long if you're starting from the ground and you've seemingly been flying and flapping your wings for a long time you've been working and you've been striving and you've been standing mm. on faith and you're saying lord how long how much more before i begin to soar the lord is saying that he is about to elevate you into the place of soaring that the holy spirit Amen. is going to be the you, underneath your wings mm. and you're going to elevate you, you're in the place of where you're taking off from a place of a tree and the lord is saying just continue to yes. go continue to soar and some you're at the top of the mountain and god is saying though you mm. had taken off and you seem to have dove down and you're saying lord what is this mm. i'm here i love you i'm serving mm. you why do my life seem like it's mm. uh, falling? But the Lord is saying, but the wind is going yes. to come and you're going to fall into that streamline mm. of wind and the wind, the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is going to elevate Amen. you. You're going to rock it up. This is the season that we hold mm. on and we do not get weary Amen. in our well-doing. Stand on your faith. Do not Hallelujah. look to the left or to the right. Don't mm. look at what everyone else is doing. Mm. Don't look at the person who's on the mountain mm. or in the tree or in the ground. Mm. Don't be concerned, but you be concerned mm. about where you're at. Stay firm in the Lord. Amen. Yes. And he gave Amen. me a word. Amen. Uh, where is he? Uh, Terrence. The Lord gave me a scripture mm. for you to read, 2 uh, Peter 1, mm. verse 10 and 11. Yes. The Lord said that is for you mm. to read. Be diligent in your calling. Mm. The Lord is saying be diligent. Yes. God is saying it's time for us to make yes. up our mind. Make up our mind. If we mm. will make up our mind, just having a well-made up mind will take us a lot further. Amen. Yes. Um, Amen. The Lord is Amen. saying, Amen. don't be concerned about fear. Um, Sister Natasha, the Lord said, be not fearful. Be not fearful. Be mm. not fearful. The Lord is mm. saying he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly where the place he mm. has for you and where he's sending you. And you might mm. be saying, well, Lord, 
Um, am I good enough for that uh, that place? Am I good enough for that location? Am I good enough to be amongst those people? For the Lord is saying, I'm taking you and mm -hmm. elevating you to high places. Just don't be fearful. Amen. God has you. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. We thank the Lord. God Amen. is good. Amen. Uh, God is good. Glory God is Jesus. your cup. Glory to Jesus. Everyone, mm. God is saying, for some of you, you need to empty your cup. You want more word of wisdom, you want yes. more word of knowledge, you need to empty your cups of what you think you mm -hmm. already know so he can fill you and give you new revelation. He's saying empty your cups Amen. of yourself, of your old self, of your old mm -hmm. ways. The, some of the ways is from the world mm -hmm. and some of the ways is what we've learned in the church. God is saying empty your cup mm -hmm. so that he can refill you. So. Mm -hmm. So he can give you what you need for the season to come. The old is not going to work anymore. Amen. The Amen. old is not going to work. It's not mm. going to get you to your destiny. Into you, your Jesus. heart, the Lord is saying, Thank empty you, them. Um, mm. Tina, are you are you here? Tina? Tina, are you yes, there? Um, yeah, I am here. Yes, yes. Tina, do you have children? Yes, I have uh, three girls. Are any of your children sick? Mm. Uh, no, if they're not. That's okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. But we're going to be praying then um, um, for your children that the Lord will keep them covered from sickness because the Lord had showed me Amen. you, He showed me children, and He showed me sickness. Mm -hmm. So okay. we're going to pray that the Lord will yeah. keep them from sickness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're going to make sure we pray yeah. about that. Amen. I want. I, I want to. I want to. I want to add something, Tina. We should pray okay. for, especially your last born, the daughter. Okay. The daughter. How old is she? Yeah, I can. See, I can see you. Yes. How old is she? How old is your your last born, the daughter? How old is she? My last daughter is the one there. Yeah. So we should. We have to pray for her, for that attack or sickness on her. We have to pray for her. Yeah, you can continue, prophetess. Continue. Amen. Amen. Um, Joelle, are you still here? Yes, I'm Joelle, here. are you there? Joelle, the yes. Lord is saying, um, there's fear in you that something is not going to go through. There's something mm -hmm. that you're waiting on the Lord to do, but you have fear. You have fear that it's not going to happen. You have fear that something is going to hinder it from happening. Mm -hmm. The Lord is saying, do not fear. Walk in faith. Mm -hmm. That yes, all I'm things right. end. Yes. No matter in what it Jesus. is, that God is in control. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. who hands going to touch it. It doesn't matter who prays against it. It doesn't matter who tries to curse it. It does mm -hmm. not matter. God says his mm -hmm. hands is on it. And when his hands is on it, his will shall mm -hmm. be done. But he needs for Amen. you to stand in faith Amen. and not in fear. And you're going to see the hand of God um, Amen. happen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Um, Amen. Glory to Amen. Jesus. Thank Glory you, to Jesus. Thank you. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. We 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 thank you. Sister Stasha, also, you can come also on. You can Amen. put your camera on as well. Yes, yes, it's on, Pastor. Yes. I can't see you as well. I can't see you. Lee Kataya. Can you see? Can you see her? Yes. The camera is on. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. okay. I can't, yeah. I can't see from here. So, 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 what you can do? What I'm feeling, what you can do is, you can, uh, you can also speak as the Spirit of God leads, and then, uh, Sister Talia. Also, if you you hear other words, you can take over, and then I'm gonna take after that. After we just finish, you can yeah. you can take over, Sister Tasha. She's also a very powerful woman of God. God use her, use her powerfully. Um, I'm also honored to mantle her. God using her with uh, the powerful Holy Ghost. Just listen to her, what God's going to speak to her. Please, you can speak. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. I got a couple of words while we were praying. Um, the first one I want to give immediately. Um, I'm going to say your name out loud because I believe there's other people on here that need to hear this. Um, yes. <clears throat> Doc. Dawana, is that how you say your name? Dawana. Dawana. Yeah. I want you to pray yes, about this. Yes. I'll confirm it. There is a religious spirit attacking that has been attacking you. There's an open door 
it's a it's a python spirit a spirit of divination like spoken about in the book of acts mm -hmm. and he gave me the word first and then he told me who it was but it's from an old religious mm -hmm. familiar spirit that's been trying to torment you mm -hmm. and keep you keep mm -hmm. you from growing more in your gift so i want you to come against mm -hmm. that we'll come against it too um and I don't, you can get with Pastor to, to get that thing completely gone. But it's a religious spirit. Amen. It's a Python divination mm. spirit. And it's acting like the Holy Spirit. But it's not. And it's playing a game of, of, of tug of war with your thoughts. With your, It's trying to put you mm. under the law. And, and it's trying to put you into grace. It's trying to put you into the law. And it's trying to keep mm. you like this. And it's not yours. It's not yours. Okay. So that was one that I got. Mm -hmm. And anybody else that's struggling with that, that's a religious spirit. It's a familiar spirit that attacks the body of Christ when you're moving in glory. Mm -hmm. It may be from generational curses from your past, from your bloodline. Just plead the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. down your bloodline and get rid of that. Because God is the author mm -hmm. of peace, not hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God is the author of peace, not confusion. He will, he will you, sanctify you and cleanse you as you walk in his flow. His, his flow is not bumpy and chaotic. He's the author of peace. Mm -hmm. So test those Amen. spirits. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank Glory you. to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Libra As as she gave that, let her all pray. Let's let all pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father. We're casting out every spirit which is not of you. Let's all pray. You can put your microphone on. Let's cast every spirit which is not of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. there's a deliverance happening there's a deliverance happening there's a deliverance happening right now god is delivering people sister teresa i'm seeing your dad haladosh keteaba i'm seeing your dad many years ago he made that some covenant hallelujah he made some covenant for him for him to be elevated i don't know in which but the lord said he made some covenant some many years ago and those spirits today are after each member of your family and the Holy Spirit is saying you're going to see a pattern of each member of your family they have a pattern oh. so as you are here today the, the Holy Spirit is saying is ready to set you free. I don't want to go into details because it's sensitive. Hallelujah. I hope you understand. Let's stand together. Say, Father, every covenant that your dad made, hallelujah, that those spirits are following each member of your family. Because I'm seeing a pattern. Each member of your family have some patterns following them. You say, Father, we, today we're breaking that covenant that my dad made with whatever spirit in the name of Jesus. 
Let's pray. Let's pray for her. Let's stand for her and pray for her in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sister Teresa, listen to me. Sister Teresa, listen to me. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit is saying, begin to pray for your brother. I'm seeing one of your brothers. He, as I'm speaking right now, he's sick. He has some sickness in his body. The enemy wants to take him out of the way. Hallelujah. But the Spirit, I'm seeing, is not even serving God. He doesn't even care about God, about Jesus. But the enemy wants to kill him. But the Spirit of God says, stand in prayer for him. Stand in prayer for him, yes. for God to save him. He mustn't go before he receive Jesus. Because I'm yes. seeing he's sick right now. I'm seeing he has, he has some pain in his body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. But the enemy wants to take him out of the way. But the, the Holy Spirit is saying, stand for him. Pray. Pray for him so that he should not die. Amen. He should not die. Because I'm seeing the Lord say he has a work of him in the kingdom of God. But I'm seeing he's very far away from God. He doesn't believe. He doesn't even believe about God. He doesn't even care about God or anything else. But God says he has, he has a work for him. But the enemy wants to kill him. Stand in prayer as an intercessor of your family and pray against that spirit which is following his life in the mighty name of Jesus. Which seeing, brother? Uh, sister, There's two. Uh, I don't know which brother. I don't know, I don't know which brother, but there's one who's sick right now. It's one is sick. He has some pain in his body. But the enemy want to take him out of the way. I'm seeing he was struggling with some uh, mental issues. Do you know who he is? Some mental issues. Are you there? Yes. Yeah, he was struggling with some mental issues. You know who he is? Okay. Yes, that's, I know that's who him. he is. The Holy Spirit said, begin to pray. Yes, begin to pray for him because the enemy want to take him out. The enemy want to take him out. But God says he has a work for him. I'm seeing a calling of God upon his life. So stand as an intercessor over his life. Because I'm saying he's, 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 he's even been doing things like mocking God and things like that. God has called him. He has a calling of God upon his, his life. But we have to stand in prayer for him in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm seeing a brother lifting up his hand. I don't know, uh, uh, do you have a word also? Do you have a word? I'm seeing, because we, before we go to take some prayer requests, I'm seeing some people lifting their hand. Do you have a word? Stasha, do you have a word? As well, yes, I, I go ahead, Pastor. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, Stasha, and then Tyler gonna also speak. Okay, the Lord gave me earlier, and it ties into the message of tonight. He wants us to stand mm -hmm. in faith, He wants us to understand what faith is. We have, as a culture, as a society, Amen. all around the world, we mm -hmm. have been programmed 
to pray without faith. But God said while we were praying, Amen. "What is your what is your war platform? What are you where are you what is your platform that you're warring from? Are you warring from a place of doubt? Hallelujah. Are you warring from a place of what's happening mm -hmm. in the world? Mm -hmm. Or are you warring on my victory, mm -hmm. he said. You must war from the place Amen. of victory. Because when we wear fear, mm -hmm. when we wear doubt, when we wear that on our countenance, when we wear mm -hmm. that in our spirit, we are not good witnesses. We mm -hmm. are witnessing fear. We are witnessing Amen. doubt. So cleanse yes. yourself. Cleanse mm -hmm. yourself yes. and and. And Amen. let your let your spirit rise above your flesh, as just sancti Amen. sanctify yourself Amen. with the Lord. You have a mantle that mm. that is Amen. you have to step into. Nobody else can do it for you. You all Amen. have a mantle. You're here for such a time as this. You have an ordained purpose that only Amen. there's only a certain few people that can be reached, and and you're the one to reach them. Hallelujah. You're the one to bring in the golden harvest. Yes. But you must be partakers yes. of the Amen. fruit. He's just pouring right now, mm. Father. Thank you. Yes. He said he you must be thank partakers you, of the fruit. You thank need you. to the women, you need to the women especially. You need mm. to learn to love yourself because mm. it's not it's not selfish yes. love. You're filling yourself up mm. with his love and his nurturing and his fruit. So yes. you can pour out. So you can pour that out. Mm. It's not selfish. You will be humbled. Jesus. Humbleness yes. is a strength. Yes. Humbleness Amen. is a beauty on the inside and it flows to the outside. You will Amen. wear his countenance. I prophesy Jesus. that right now over mm. all of us. We will wear the countenance of the Lord. Hallelujah. We will show forth the Hallelujah. praises of the Lord. Amen. We are going to show Jesus. forth. People are going to look at you and say, I want what he has. I want what mm. she has. Yes. You mm. own it. You yes. own your calling. Jesus. And if somebody comes at you with yes. envy and hate and malice, you just pray for them. Mm. You love them mm. anyway. You love them anyway. Amen. Mm. Yes. And he gave me Peter. The Matthew, Matthew 14, yes. walking on the water. Yes. Peter stood on the word, the water. Yes. Yes. He stood on the word. The word that of was God. His. Yes. We keep trying to stand on our flesh. Our flesh is going to fail us every time. Step mm. out of the boat and stand in faith. Step out. Yes. Step out and stand yes. in faith. Yes. He's got you. He's got you. He will not he will not allow mm. you to be put to shame. Yes, in the name of Thank Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. I want to add before I, I want to add something before I give to Talia. The Bible says uh, when you were speaking, Stasha, the Holy Spirit told me, tell them that I've not given them the spirit of fear, but of power. Do you understand? God, if you feel some kind of fear, it doesn't come from God and cast it out. God has given you the spirit of power. Power meaning when you feel fear, you speak the word of God. You speak the power of God over your situation. You shall see his end in the name of Jesus. Yes, Sister uh, Talia, you can add something. You want to say something? Amen. Um, the Lord uh, brought to my attention Stephanie. And the Lord just wants you to know that his joy is your strength. That he wants Amen. you to stand on his joy. He wants your, your peace and your joy. His joy mm. is going to be your strength. And not to try to gain Amen. like what you're doing. You're trying to stand on your, I see you trying to stand on your own strength. And your own will and your own fortitude mm. and i can do this i can do this i can do this mm. and but the lord is saying tap into his joy tap into his joy and that is what's going to allow you to soar and it's going to give you the strength that you need to 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 um elevate and go forward in him amen 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 the same amen. word apply i'm so here those are the same word erica erica are you there? I'm seeing the Spirit of God says the same word, the same word, the same word applies to you. He says, don't try to stand on your own strength, but trust the Lord. He says, the enemy must be many, but rely on his strength. He shall give you victory. You shall soar like an eagle. Hallelujah. He shall give you victory in the name of Jesus. Just rely on the Lord and he shall give you victory. And all your enemies shall be under your feet as long as you rely on him and you put your strength on him. The same word she just spoke to Stephanie. 
applies to you as well in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, I'm seeing my brother, uh, yo, my brother, you lifting your hand, my brother, yo, Ross, uh, you, you have a prayer request or something to speak, to say? My brother, you lift your, if you have any prayer requests, by the way, we have a, we have a group. We have a WhatsApp group where uh, we... Yeah, Pastor, no. Uh, we, mm, yes? Yeah. Yes, you can you can, you can can speak if you have a prayer request. You can speak. No, I don't have any prayer request. Uh, okay, because I saw your hand lifted. So we... No, I don't have any prayer request today, Pastor. Uh, okay, we yeah, thank, thank God. Thank you very much. Thank you. So let's let's now go to pray. If you can speak in tongues, begin now to break in tongues in Labarosh Katayaba. Begin to speak in tongues in the name of Jesus. As you speak in tongues, you're praying with all your heart. Some are gonna be you'll see something like explode from your heart. You're gonna see like some fire burning from your heart. Let's begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. You say you say, 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 say just say, Holy Spirit, come and take over. Put your microphone on. Say, say, Holy Spirit. Come and take over. Begin to pray in tongues in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 
Tyler, can you read for us some prayer requests and then we're going to pray? Yeah, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing some prayer requests down there. Can you can you please read for us? I'm seeing some prayer requests. At and this I'm time, pray those who are sending their prayer requests. Uh, let's see, we have prayer requests for prayer from request. Duana. Um, if she put yeah. uh, her daughter Jayla and also my daughter Jada, and we also want to make sure that we pray for okay. Tina's daughter as well. Um, all okay. uh, requesting a healing. Amen. Yeah, that's okay. Amen. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing another one like Jonathan also another one. Jonathan. Uh, he's saying oh, praying. Um, okay, then. Uh, for uh, please pray for my grade twelve and my studies. And uh, Tina, mm -hmm. please help me to pray for my big brother who's been addicted to drugs. Nothing mm -hmm. is working for him. Okay. Um, and yes. Danielis. Uh, forgive me if I'm saying your mm -hmm. name incorrectly. Prayer for me against spiritual warfare. Okay. Uh, every prayer request that you brought here, the Spirit of God is here, and we're praying in the mighty name of Jesus, and you're going to see God in your prayer request in the mighty name of Jesus. And after yeah. that, we're going to end our prayer because, uh, yeah, we're going to end our prayer a little bit because I don't have power here, so my laptop the battery is running low now. Uh, but re remember, we have we have prayer every Friday. We have prayer every Friday. Uh, do please invite people in the group where you're going to have all the information. And I also do counseling and deliverance and things like that. You can always see how to contact and see how we can uh, help you and pray for you. So let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus for the most prayer request. But let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as rain, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, 